Welcome back to Superstructures. Today, we're diving into a chilling topic. Are we really heading towards a frozen future? Stick around as we unravel the science and explore the signs that suggest Earth might be gearing up for a frosty makeover. Let's embark on this icy journey together. Hey, ever heard of the Pleistocene era? It was a super important time in Earth's history, lasting about 2.6 million years and finishing roughly 11,700 years ago. You know what's cool? This is when humans like us showed up and spread all over the planet. And guess what? Some really interesting animals lived back then too, like woolly mammoths and saber-toothed cats. Sadly, many of them disappeared when the era ended. Earth's weather has been wild for about 2.4 billion years. Even though our planet is mostly ice-free, we go through freezing ice ages now and then. In these icy times, temperatures drop and huge parts of the Earth get covered in ice. It starts with a little snow, builds up, and the ice reflects sunlight, making things even colder. Massive glaciers then slowly move toward the equator, changing everything in their path. When the ice melts, sea levels rise, and the whole scene transforms again. So far, we've had at least five ice ages. The first one was so intense that the entire planet turned into a gigantic snowball. Guess what? We're in the middle of an ice age right now, but we're in a temporary warm spell that began around 11,000 years ago. These warm spells are called interglacial, and we're not sure how long they stick around. Right now, huge ice sheets on Antarctica and Greenland hold 75% of Earth's fresh water. When these finally melt, it'll signal the end of the current ice age. The Earth's temperature is influenced by something called the Milankovitch cycle. This cycle is about how much heat we get from the sun, and it changes over many years due to Earth's orbit, tilt, and axis. There are three patterns, eccentricity, obliquity, and precession. Depending on where we are in these cycles, temperatures can be colder or warmer. Other factors like continent positions and the atmosphere also matter. Earth's orbit isn't a perfect circle. It's a bit elongated like an egg. This means we're sometimes closer or farther from the sun. When farthest, it's called apogee, and closest is perigee. As we move away from the sun, gravity pulls us back, gradually shifting our position in relation to the sun. Don't worry, these changes happen over thousands of years and don't affect our daily lives much. Changes in how the Earth moves around the sun can impact how much sunlight we get in the summer. This affects the melting of ice sheets in the northern hemisphere. If there's less melting, the ice can start growing. As it grows, it reflects more sunlight, making the climate cooler and spreading the ice even more. This process can go on for a really long time, like 10,000 to 20,000 years, leading to the planet's next freezing season. Scientists believe human activities like using certain fuels might delay the next ice age by up to 100,000 years. Earth's past ice ages were linked to solar radiation and carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. Understanding this helps predict future cycles. It's amazing that what we do now can impact Earth's future for thousands of years. While it's not crucial when the next ice age begins, it's cool that humans have the power to shape the future on a geological scale. Ice ages have had a big impact on our planet and civilization. So it's fascinating to think about how our actions today might change things, perhaps for the better. During the last ice age, life on our planet was quite different. North America was home to enormous creatures like mammoths, saber-toothed cats, giant ground sloths, and mastodons. In Europe, there was even an 11-foot-tall flightless bird weighing nearly as much as a polar bear. Australia housed a giant lizard that thrived in various habitats. While some Pleistocene animals were extinct, many existing species can be recognized today. Alaska still hosts brown bears, caribou, and wolves. Humans, especially Homo sapiens, have been around for about 300,000 years, spreading worldwide. Some ancestors stayed in Africa, avoiding the full impact of the cold, while others ventured into the glacial environments of Europe. Early relatives like Neanderthals in Europe and Denisovans in Asia coexisted during this time, adding to the diversity of hominids roaming Earth. The survival of our species during the Ice Age is fascinating, especially considering some of our relatives didn't make it. Experts attribute our adaptability, social, and communication skills, and the use of tools to our success. Humans didn't merely endure, we expanded into new areas, as evidenced by fossilized footprints in White Sands National Park, showing our presence in North America around 23,000 years ago. 
close to the Ice Age peak. While a full-blown Ice Age might be distant, there's talk of a possible mini-Ice Age in about 10 years due to decreased solar activity, leading to colder northern hemisphere temperatures. This could resemble the conditions of the Little Ice Age in the late 17th century, when the Thames River in the UK even froze over. The cause of that cooling remains uncertain, adding to the intrigue of potential changes. Surviving the next real Ice Age is likely for humans, based on our past resilience. However, it won't come without challenges. If the ice covering most of the northern hemisphere comes from oceans, sea levels would drop, revealing new land. While this might initially seem advantageous, it brings its own set of problems. The new land, having been underwater for thousands of years, may not be fertile for growing crops. This poses a challenge in feeding our over 7 billion population. Unlike in the early days of humanity when there were fewer people and abundant food, today we'll need resourcefulness to ensure everyone has enough to eat. And there you have it, the fascinating journey through Earth's icy history and the potential challenges that lie ahead. If you found this exploration intriguing, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your fellow explorers, and subscribe to Superstructures for more captivating insights into our planet's past, present, and future. As we navigate the twists of Earth's story, your curiosity fuels our exploration. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures. Until next time, keep wondering and wandering.